Town Council meets tonight. We get details about the orders of the day as we talk with Town Council President Jessica Rapcrisetti on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, September 3rd, 2015. I'm Sarah Mannell. There is a, um, a new, we're looking for all uh, new men and women to serve on the RAC committee or the Water Resources uh, Advisory Committee. And this is uh, uh, kind of a, um, a new committee that's coming out of the Citizens Advisory Committee, and this is to advise the uh, town on the completion and implementation of the Comprehensive, comprehensive Water Resource Management Planning Project. Um, and with the goal of protecting and restoring the town's fresh and salt water bodies and its drinking water supplies. And this is uh, in compliance with the, the Cape Cod Commission's Cape Cod Area-Wide uh, Water Quality Management Plan update of 2015, also known as the 208 plan. Um, so um, the, uh, this committee will be made up of some counselors, uh, some members at large, and, uh, and certainly liaisons from uh, the Board of Health, Conservation, Planning Board, um, and, uh, and Director of uh, De Department of Public Works as well. So very important uh, uh, committee being formed. And then I see, too, here there is a public hearing going to be held on a, on a proposal to uh, change a little bit about some criminal history record check for certain licenses. Tell me a little bit about this. Uh yeah, I, I, you know, um, I, I know that I certainly would want to make sure that the uh, on the person selling ice cream to my child is uh, has gone through a, uh, a criminal history check by the uh, police department, um, and uh, and they'll, they'll be charging fifty dollars to do this, and a, a portion of that um, goes into um, the the firearms fingerprint identity identity verification trust fund. Um, and the remainder is retained by the town. But um, this is this is just to uh, make sure that the people that are um, uh, hawking and peddling or other door-to-door -door salespeople or, or vendors such as ice cream vendors um, have gone through a, uh, a check with the uh, police department. So, so something to increase safety and Absolutely. really, really to sort of like a quarry check when you are a parent and you want to volunteer at your child's school, you have to pass a quarry check. Something, something of that nature. That's right. That's right. And these, you know, these individuals have direct contact with not only children but with uh, adults as well. And so we, we just want to make sure that uh, um, we know who's who's doing that. Another important item for up for a public hearing. I know there's been a lot of discussion about a proposal uh, to ban single-use plastic bags in town. Tell me a little bit about this item. Yeah, this is an uh, amendment to the code uh, by adding Chapter 195, single-use bags. These are the carry-out bags, um, uh, the ones that uh, sometimes you put a, a gallon of milk in and it falls right through the bottom. <laughs> They're very uh, very thin mill. This, this is um, uh, three mil or less. Uh, bags, and they're the ones with the handles, um, and we're not the first community to be doing this. Uh, you know, I know Nantucket did it back in 1990. They banned them, but I um, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if eventually the entire state of Massachusetts will follow suit, but um, this does not include um, the, uh, um, you know, the, uh, the fruit and vegetable uh, or small bags that you get at hardware stores or at um, uh, um, the uh, the grocery store, or if things to wrap meat in or flowers and whatnot. This is really the um, the bags that uh, you use once and then you throw away. Or hopefully, what you do is you bring them back to the market. Um, those that do accept them, but now our transfer station does accept these plastic bags. That um, they're really a one-use bag, so. Um, I think, you know, we've heard nothing but uh, um, praise for this, this item from the public, and I expect this to uh, pass uh, no problem. And I, I thank Councilor Hebert for uh, uh, putting this item forward. 
Great. And also moving on, there is an appropriation order request in the amount of $226,781, or I'm sorry, $226,781. This is for renovations to the JFK Old Town Hall, or currently the JFK Museum. Talk to me a little bit, little bit about this request. That's right. This is a pretty prominent building right in at 397 Main Street in Hyannis, and uh, the council uh, supported phase one of this project, which was um, working on several of the lintels, um, which is the supporting structure above a window. Um, and, however, uh, they'd like to come back for phase two to uh, work on um, 16 additional lintels and wood trim and cornice restoration and some masonry cleaning and sealing. Um, this is a building that's on the National Register of Historic Places, and, uh, and uh, th this is community preservation uh, funds, and uh, um, I think this is an important um, building to um, maintain, and, and uh, I, I certainly will be supporting this item. Uh, another yeah. couple, I know, uh, reading on through the agenda, there are some uh, appointments to board committees and commissions, but then you have down here an acceptance of a grant for the Barnstable Police Department. This is for the Bulletproof Vest Partnership. It's a $13,000 grant. Talk to me a little bit about this grant. Uh, well, um, I... I hate to talk about uh, um, bulletproof vests for our police department. You know, you hate to think of them right in the line of fire, but um, this is a, a uh, um, they, the, uh, and Anne Spillane, who writes the grants for the police department, was uh, successful in receiving a $13,000 grant um, from the U.S. Department of Justice um, Office of the Justice Programs. And, you know, the, I guess the, the vests deteriorate over uh, time. And so we want to make sure that uh, um, our, our police officers who are in the line of fire have the up-to-date uh, and, uh, um, and, and, and good uh, um, vests. Um, and this is uh, um, the state reimbursement is only made upon receipt of 50% payment from the federal program. So there is some, some um, um, matching funds for this. Wonderful. Definitely something that is, of course, very important. Keeping you know, I, the other thing I did want to say too is um, we do have a public hearing on the um, uh, Chapter 208 with substance controls, and this would be banning the synthetic marijuana and synthetic marijuana analog, also known. Uh, you know, it's got many acronyms, uh, known as Spice or K2 or Crazy Monkey. You know, it's being sold as incense, um, but. Um, People are, are smoking it, and it, which is causing them to hallucinate and, um, and psychotic episodes and, and in some cases results in death. So uh, we'd like to get this out of the stores in and around our town, and, um, and that's what this, this article is, is being put forward for. So. Do you know if any other towns have enacted an, a similar uh, legislation? Yes, I, I know Boston has, and I know New Hampshire. It might be the entire state of New Hampshire has, but I, kn I know, yes, we're not the, the first ones to address this issue. Um, it's, uh, it's becoming prevalent everywhere, so, um, but uh, we're not the first. So. And last but not least, we can't forget, I see an item here, uh, establishing a gift account for anyone who may want to donate to the effort to build a dog park in the town of Barnstable. Talk that's, to me a little bit about this effort. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> well, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, a group of citizens um, in 2011 gathered uh, with the purpose of promoting a responsible dog ownership in the committee, um, wanted to identify a location for uh, an off-leash recreational opportunity for dogs, and uh, they've uh, created um, the an organization, a nonprofit, uh, ready to receive funds, um, uh, and the location has been chosen, and that's ha uh, near Hathaway's Pond. This has also been endorsed by the Recreation Commission, and uh, so this this is a um, a, a a gift um, was already given to the town of Barnstable by the Barnstable Dog Park Committee for the preliminary costs of a grant writing and whatnot. So um, the committee has really been hard working on this. So we thank them for that, and I'm sure all the dog lovers uh, and dogs will appreciate uh, a new place to uh, to run around. <laughs>